Hello there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you something really fun that you can do with AsyncIO and WebSockets in Python. And namely, I wanted to create a site that is able to give you a random Chuck Norris joke in a nice box. And uh, every single client connecting from a different browser should see the same joke appear. And uh, after reading the documentation, of the async IM module and the web socket. I think this combination is kind of a perfect fit to provide this solution. So I'm not going to type anything in this uh, video session. I'm just going to show you how this works and why this works. So let's get to it. Now, as we can see, we have this simple index HTML. We have this styling in CSS to make it look a little bit more, let's say, cozy. And we have this JavaScript part, which is going to have these variables, this onClick event, which is going to send the action to the backend, and the onMessage function, which is going to run when we get the data from the backend. So this is how we pass backend force data between the WebSocket backend and the index HTML page. And uh, our Norris.py looks the following way. You need to install the WebSockets and the request module because those are not included in the standard Python uh, installation. And we have this uh, state that represents a value and the key pair, and the key is the value, and the value is the joke which we get when we start up our application. We have the users array, and we have these state events. So the users array is uh, ensuring that uh, no duplicate users are present. This is just kind of a best practice, so we don't send message twice to the same user. And we have the state event, which is going to uh, return a dumped version of the state dictionary with some addition. We have the users event that is going to return the users event and uh, the dumped version of it and the length of the users. And the notify state is going to send a state event for every user we have connected. The notify users is going to send a user's event for every user and the state event for every user. So as you can see, the first one is for the button click. So we notify everyone who has a browser open on that specific page. The other is to notify the new users. We have the register and unregister uh, hooks that is going to add and remove a web socket that uh, is uh, currently connected by the user. So now, <coughs> finally, we have arrived to the counter function. And in this counter function, first we register this WebSocket. After that, we will send a state event so that uh, our new user, let's say, can get the specific uh, joke that we want to send. And after that, we iterate over every message and then we are going to assign the value of the state dictionary, the actual joke that is going to be sent with the notify state function to every single user that is connected. And after that, we will unregister this WebSocket. And then we will just simply start and run our async IO application. So are you ready to take it for a test drive? Let's do it. Python, no worries. And uh, you should not really see too much happening here. But now, if we go to this specific page, let me refresh it. So, as you can see, we already have this job. So, Chuck Norris doesn't need a debugger, he just tears down the bug until, it co until the code confesses. <laughs> Great. So, let's navigate here with another browser. 
Oh boy, it seems to be working. And let's also navigate here with another browser. Oh my god, if the fourth one is working, I'm ending this video. Okay guys, that, that's all. So, it, it seems to be working fine. So, basically, this is what I wanted to show you. As you can see from the log files, we can see when the user connected and when the button was clicked. And uh, I think it's time for me to end this video. I would like to thank you for watching it. If you like this type of videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.